10 Shocking Facts About Black Dahlia, Hollywood's Most Famous Unsolved Murder The murder of Elizabeth Short, nicknamed the Black Dahlia by newspaper reporters, has remained unsolved for 73 years. Nobody knows what kind of monster sawed the girl in half, carved Glasgow's smile on her face, and threw her on the roadside, so the public consciousness is still giving birth to more and more theories. Some say that Orson Welles was involved in the murder, others say that ghosts had something to do with it. What is clear is that this macabre story is so deeply rooted in culture that prominent filmmakers, musicians and game designers still turn to the image of Elizabeth Short today. The case has attracted public attention since 1947, when aspiring actress Elizabeth Short was found dead and dismembered in South Los Angeles. To this day, no one knows who killed the 22-year-old who became known as Black Dahlia, but that certainly doesn't stop speculation. Here are 10 things we know about this murky case, based on reports from local newspapers, the FBI and the son of one of the main suspects. Before I get to the topic, I want to ask you to like this video, supporting me and my channel in this way. To me, that is the best reward from you. After watching, don't be lazy and leave a comment on who could be interested in the death of an aspiring actress. It will be very interesting to read. So, you're on Wisner channel, and this video is 10 shocking facts about Black Dahlia, Hollywood's most famous unsolved murder, let's get started. 1. A mother and child found the body of Elizabeth Short. On the morning of January 15, 1947, Betty Bersinger was driving her three-year-old daughter Anne in a stroller down the sidewalk, heading for a sure repair shop. She stopped when she noticed a mannequin lying in the grass. But as she looked more closely, she discovered that it was something far more disturbing, a mutilated corpse. Bersinger grabbed Anna and ran to a nearby house, where she used her phone to call the police. Authorities arrived on the scene just minutes later, launching an investigation that has dragged on for years and which many people are still trying to figure out. 2. No blood was found at the scene. The naked body that Bersinger discovered was in horrifying condition. In addition to the fact that the body had been completely cut in half at the waist and her intestines removed, Short's mouth had been cut from ear to ear, giving her face the creepy, half-smiling expression known as the Glasgow smile. Her body was also cleaned before it was found. Despite the severe mutilation, no blood was found at the scene, leading police to conclude that the young woman had been killed elsewhere, blood drained from her, and then the body was washed, after which the killer discarded it. 3. The FBI identified shorts through fingerprints to identify the body, the Los Angeles Police Department took fingerprints from the corpse, which it then sent to the FBI using a device called Synphoto, the precursor to the facsimile machine. About an hour later, the FBI received the result and was able to identify the victim as 22-year-old Elizabeth Short. Short's fingerprints had already been entered into the system twice, once when she applied for a job at a commission store on a U.S. Army base, and once when she was arrested in Santa Barbara, California, on September 23, 1943, for underage drinking. 4. The nickname Black Dahlia has a murky origin. There are several competing theories as to who exactly came up with Short's infamous nickname. Some say it was an invention of the media, others claim that Short's friends nicknamed her Black Dahlia. But most say the inspiration came from Raymond Chandler's film noir, released a year before the murder, The Blue Dahlia, starring Veronica Lake. Why the shift from blue to black? The FBI cites rumors that Short wore a lot of black clothing, but some sources point to her dark hair color. 5. Some have linked the case to the Cleveland Torso Killer. When Short's death made national news, Cleveland police officers felt a terrible sense of deja vu. Between 1934 and 1938, a serial killer had terrorized their city, taking 12 victims, all grotesquely dismembered. Some have speculated that the Ohio serial killer and Short's killer may have been the same person, especially since, like Short's killer, the perpetrator, who came to be called the Cleveland Torso Killer, was never caught. 6. He was also linked to the lipstick murder. A month after Short's murder, the body of another woman was discovered in Los Angeles, and the circumstances of that murder were much like the Black Dahlia case. It all began when a stranger, in this case a construction worker, came across the naked body of a dead woman in the grass. She had dark hair, like Short, and her face was also badly beaten. But this time there was an unusual message scrawled in bright red lipstick on her stomach, FKUBD. A little clarification BD is the first letters of Black Dagley, the English word for Black Dahlia. Just below were the letters Tex. People were quick to link BD. And this gruesome murder with Black Dahlia, but police were wary of officially linking the two events. Like Short's murder, French's murder was never solved. 7. 
many people confessed to the crime. During the Black Dahlia investigation, the LAPD had to rule out many suspects, including several who turned themselves into the police. Although some sources cite a smaller number, the Los Angeles Times cites more than 500 false confessions in the short case. The false statements came from housewives, clergymen, soldiers, drunken vagrants, and, much later, from pranksters who were not even alive when Short's life was brutally cut short. 8. No charges were ever filed. The FBI files on the Black Dahlia case indicate that many men were detained for questioning and some were even given polygraph tests, but in the end no one was ever charged with Short's murder. Nevertheless, several names stand out. 9. George Hodel is one of the most prominent suspects. One of those names is George Hodel, a doctor who ran an STD clinic in Los Angeles in the 1940s. According to The Guardian, Hodel was on the list of six prime suspects in the Black Dahlia case, and LAPD even bugged his house during the investigation. However, Hodel, who died in 1999, gained wide publicity only recently when his son, Steve Hodel, accused him of killing Short in his 2003 best-selling book, The Avenger for the Black Dahlia, The True Story. Steve claims his father's handwriting matches the strange letters the police allegedly received from the killer. He also found pictures of a woman who looks like Short in his father's personal photo album and believes Hodel's medical background explains the precise, clinical cuts on his body. But some discount Steve's claims after he began linking his father to other infamous unsolved murders, including the Zodiac murders. TNT Western's new miniseries, I Am The Night, features Hodel as the prime suspect in the Black Dahlia case. 10. Others believe it was the messenger. Another name popular among Black Dahlia theorists is Leslie Dillon. He appears in the FBI case file, but came to renewed attention in 2017, when author P. Wheatwell argued for his guilt in her book Black Dahlia, Red Rose. Dillon was a messenger, writer, and assistant undertaker who seemed to know a surprising amount of detail about Short's murder when the LAPD brought him in for questioning. He was eventually released, according to Eatwell, thanks to a foul mouth the cop, but some of the detectives investigating the case never forgot him. In 2018, Booz Williams, a retired officer with the California Police Department and Long Beach and son of Richard F. Williams, a member of the LAPD gang unit, told Rolling Stone that my father thought Leslie Dillon was the killer and that other police officers suspected Dillon was at least an accomplice. Many crimes, committed in different countries in different years and even centuries, have been stirring the minds of the public for years. The most experienced police investigators fought to solve them. And when the police admitted their impotence, it took amateur sleuths a long time to work on the mysteries. But time passed, and these murders remained unsolvable mysteries. If you were interested, thank the author by putting a like. And also do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss the outputs of even more interesting videos of my channel. Turn on notifications by clicking on the bell and share this video with your friends. What else interesting can you add to this video? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to read.